Hi guys, welcome to another video tutorial with me. In today's video, we are going to be using the Flower Color Guide book again as a reference. And our focus is on learning how to create cute organic petals for our flowers. So in this instance, for this video, I will be doing the Butterfly Ranunculus. So putting this aside, I'm going to walk you through all my supplies. I'm using my set of 36 White Knights. I've got my Lisi Arts palette ready to go. I've got some water. And then for my brushes, I am going to be using the round um, number six from the Princeton Neptune. And I'm just going to keep the number four regular round silver black velvet handy just in case I need it. But we'll see. This should be, this should, the number six should suffice for our entire petal creating process but just in case I like to keep a second brush handy in case we need it for whatever reason. Alright so starting off we're going to mix a little bit of color and because these butterfly ranunculus are kind of yellowy orange in color we're going to start off by mixing a little bit of the yellow and so for that we're using cadmium medium and then I'll be using a little bit of golden as well in there just to get that orange and then finally for our main shadowy bits we're using English red all right so let's get started getting some color mixing some of that cadmium medium lemon on here get a little bit of that whatever leftover pinky hue is there. I think it may have been ruby if I'm not mistaken. So this is a good enough consistency. I've really watered down uh, a tiny bit of color just so I can get some nice light uh, strokes to dampen my sheet of paper and get some color in there as well. We get a little bit more and that should be good. All right so the first thing I want to do is really make sure that you guys understand the concept of being able to really press down your brush and get some cute little shapes. So for that, I'm just going to take a rough sheet of paper and just kind of show you what I'm looking at to do over here. So for instance, you can see how the petals have like this really cute frilly edge and some of them are kind of overlapping. So there's a technique to that. So for those who are new to watercolor and beginning, learn how to not only use the tip of your brush to get like cute little thin strokes and really control the pressure you're using on your brush but also learn how to really press down on your brush and trail off and really get some nice organic shapes like by really pressing down and kind of really going off in different directions kind of like what I just did right now okay so that's typically what we're going to be doing for today, like really pressing down to get these cute organic shapes for our petals with a picture reference so we know exactly what kind of shape we're mimicking. So for instance, if I wanted to do the petal that kind of looked like this one off to the side here, I am going to start off by pressing down, really kind of pressing down that way going across to the side, dipping the, the tip of my brush in water, going back to complete the other side, and then kind of leaving some white space in between here. And there's our petal. You're also kind of moving the color to the edges so that you can see some nice darks and lights happening in your petal. So do you see how that has happened? It almost looks like a little bit of a shell. That's what we're looking for. And then right away in this instant, you would take your golden if you want to add an additional color and just kind of add that in there before it dries off. That is the point. Add a nice stroke of color in there. And so now you've got this nice two-tone sort of petal happening. And so once we've had this dried off just a little bit more, we're going to go in with the English red. So I got some of that on the tip directly from my color cake. And just adding it while it is semi-damp, using the tip, pressing down, trailing off, and then kind of just adding a little bit more to the edges here. 
Now it's too, what's the word? It's too uh, damp in this area here, so I'm getting a lot of that cauliflower effect, but just take your paper towel and just lightly dab in that area so it kind of fans off, okay? And that's what we're looking for when we see these little areas where the petals are overlapping and where you're seeing two tones where there's like a nice blend starting from the center. So this is what we're trying to get. Okay, now there's a little bit of a blend happening here and that's okay. You wait for it to dry a little bit more and then you can really kind of work on that some more if you want to. But again, it's entirely up to you how you end up doing these florals because um, the point of this video is to get these organic shapes, not necessarily do just the ranunculus or the butterfly ranunculus. So you could be doing an entirely different flower. I'm just showing you how you can press down your brush and get all these different shapes for your petals. All right, so now let's move on because I've shown you the basics. Let's move on to doing the actual flower and I'm going to walk you through my process. All right, so I've done two petals here and then I realized it was not recording. So I'm going to walk you through this whole thing again, uh, but by just doing the rest, the half of this. So I am creating this petal by pressing down, trailing off, pressing down again because this is a side petal. We're not doing it in one, in one swoop, leaving white space in the center and then kind of getting that nice little frilly edge at the top. And if you need to go in there and just kind of lightly do some strokes to the side or wherever, go ahead and do that. Now is the time to go get some of that nice golden and I'm just going to add it to the center and maybe a little bit to the edges, especially in these first two petals here because it's dried up. So adding it like in just key areas here just to give a little bit of golden indication, get that two-tone happening into my florals. And then while this is semi-dry or semi-dry right now, actually let's add some golden over here too. Just a bit here and there. I'm going to get some of that English red and then I'm going to add that a little bit at the top, at the edges and allow it to kind of blend in and do its thing. And if you feel like it's too dark, just take your paper towel and dab in those areas where it doesn't need to be as dark. And that should work just as well. And again, going back in, I'm going to get some of that in the center of my flower. I need to do one more petal, but I figured I need to show you guys while it is nice and damp before we move on to the next petal. So let's do that before we move on. All right, so almost done with these tiny little blends on the edge of our petals. Let's do our fourth petal and then we can move on to doing the um, the proper overlapping like you can see in some of these areas here. So getting some more off the mixed color that I have on my palette right here. I'm going to go ahead and create the last petal. Make it, give it a little bit of white space in between here. Okay, I need more color. Trying to really make these petals organic looking, leaving some white space if you need to in between. Kind of lost the white space here and there, but that's okay. Trying to leave some in here for this one. And then what I'm also going to do is get a little bit of the petals happening over here in the background. And you can see that I'm kind of framing or closing up the space here, but leaving a little bit of white space still. Getting some off the orange. I'm going to add some of that golden in here. All right, just going to add some over here too. Perfect. 
And now, um, once we allow this to dry just a tad bit, we're going in with the English red to add that to our edges, okay? So I'm gonna get a little bit of English red to prepare, just a tad bit. I just swiped a couple of swipes from my sheet, uh, sorry, my color cake. And this is fairly dried up, so I'm just gonna go around the edges, very lightly touching these edges. It's still sort of dry, um, damp but not too much and then going in the center and adding that adding the strokes in there too so they flare up now some of them have cauliflowered quite a bit I think that's the term if I'm not mistaken so I'm just taking my paper towel and lightly dabbing so I get more of a blend soft blend all right, perfect. I love how this has turned out. Very, very organic, kind of like that. Um, now we're gonna go in and add these little folds that I was talking to you about. So the folds are super simple. You wanna just determine where you want these folds to happen. So for instance, I'll pick this edge of the flower here and I'll have one fold happening here. So what I'm gonna do is using the tip of my brush, I'm just going to lightly curve around this area. We need to make sure that the color is directly from the color cake and it's quite a bit of color in comparison to water when you're doing this because it needs to be nice and thick and dark. So here we go. I'm just using the side of my brush to create this light sliver. It is still a little bit damp so now it's giving me that flowering effect so it needs to be a tad drier to get that nice hard edged. Let's do another one over here on this side. Let's see how that pans out. This is a tad better. Still damp though. So we can always come back and try that again. Let's try it on this edge here. Maybe this petal is a little bit bent over. So I'm just hugging the curve of what we've created for this petal and I'm just creating this little highlight or shadow effect here making it seem that it's making the petal seem like it's overturned or turning inward all right let's do another one over here this one is still very very damp so it might not work as well but again you get the idea of how you can go in and just add these in right i just kind of used my judgment and created it wherever i felt it was needed but if you look at the picture reference, if you have this book or if you look at it online, just do a quick Google search and I'm sure you'll find a bunch of these flowers come up. Um, <clears throat> you can use that as reference. Another flower you can use to create these beautiful shapes is the, the Sweet Pea Cluster. And I did that video about two weeks ago, I believe. I will put the link to that in the description below. So you can check that out as well and go ahead and just use your regular round brush and practice to get these nice organic shapes for flowers. Okay, let's move on, finish this flower, and then we can wrap up. All right, the next thing I want to do is let's do the stem in some, a little bit of leaves. So I got some green on here already. I don't like wasting, so I will take some Mars Brown from my color palette and add it to my green and get a woodsy sort of green which I think complements that color very well. I'm going to get a little bit more Mars Brown adding it in. So now I've got like a good variation. Mix more green so it doesn't look too yellow. Okay, good enough. So now we're gonna go ahead and create our first stem and these stems are nice and wiggly and really cute, um, flowy. So let's do a stem happening. So using just the tip of my brush, I'm going to make sure I've got good brush control. Remember I was talking about just taking a sheet and practicing how to do swoops. So you can get nice thicks and thins, depending on how much you press down things like that. So you want to make sure you get a nice swoop happening. Okay. So here we go. Let's do that swoop really quickly. Perfect. 
If it's a little bit uh, thicker at the bottom, that is okay because you can always judge it up by adding a lot more greenery and stuff. Now, the greenery, greenery for these flowers are really cute and swirly again. So we can do more swirly stuff. Again, more practice in terms of making sure that you get nice thicks and thins or nice thins entirely for this reason here actually. I'm going to add this cute little bulb. And then another swipe here for more greenery. So you just make it as you go, make it up as you go along. And that's, that's cute, nice and flowy, all good. I'm gonna probably create a nice little bud as well, but for now we'll just leave this as is. Let's go back to the flower and focus on doing the center. So for the center, we're gonna use entirely English red and just getting some on the tip of my brush, making sure I don't have too much water on my brush because I want just color. I'm going to go to the center and we're going to do a cute little dab, 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 dab. Trying to leave white space if we can, and if not, it's okay. And then what I would like to do is add a little bit of um, like a darker tone or hue. And so I'm just going to add some of the Mars Brown because it's a nice dark color. I'm just, I'm not washing off the English red too much and I'm just gonna add a couple of dots. You can choose to do this now or do this after this dries up. Entirely up to you. I'm just adding a couple of these dots around the border of the center. I'll probably allow this to dry and maybe add some in the center as well. So washing that off, um, I think there's one more thing we can do and then we can, then the flower is considered done. It's getting some of the, I'm using my number four. I'm gonna get some of the English red and I'm gonna do these thin little lines coming from the center outward. And so you could use one of your miniature brushes as well if you need to. And the beauty about something doing this at this stage is that you're doing it right when you've done your center. So what you can do is even, instead of getting any color, just get some of the color that you've used to create the center and drag away. Again, this move also requires you to have good brush control. So you're actually using just the tip of your brush and you're kind of pulling the color upward creating just a little bit more detail to your florals and giving it a nice blend as well. And that's that. We have done our butterfly ranunculus. So let's just have a semi close up of it. That's what this looks like. Super pretty. I hope you guys take this video and kind of go ahead and do a bunch of more flowers surrounding this one or a bunch more surrounding this one and use that technique that I showed you about the overlap, waiting for it to dry and stuff. So, so time yourselves, okay? And uh, that's it. Tag me in your work. I want to see it on Instagram if you're willing to show, of course. And if you guys like this video, please, please, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. It really does help my channel grow. And if you enjoy videos like this and you're looking to get a little more well-versed with watercolor, I do have monthly watercolor classes, so please do check that out as well. Uh, most of that's posted on Instagram and stuff. All right, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and looking forward to seeing your stuff. Bye now.